Big Z Reviews. Escape the Field is a new horror puzzle solving uh, action movie that just came out on streaming recently. And it's not very good. What did you find? Matches. I got this. She's got a knife and a compass. We need water. The fuck? It's rotten. You think we've found something by now? Come with us. We'll find a way out. There is no way. So this is uh, written and directed by Emerson Moore and stars a bunch of people that haven't really done much. I think the main two stars were Shane West and Jordan Claire Robbins. And they also have like C.O. Rossi. As, but like, there's... This feels like um, a movie that was made after that the escape room did surprisingly well. And, but it's not, it's, it's called Escape the Field. So it's definitely it's an escape room. But it's, it's, it's definitely, it's, it's, there, there are like these, all these group of people wake up in this cornfield and they, each of them has like a different item and they have to come together and solve the puzzle and maybe get out of there. And uh, but the, I think the the problem is that there's you know it's a it's a cheap film. You just have like you're on a set with a bunch of fake corn and stocks and like and they a fake dummy a fake a scarecrow thing and a people and maybe you, at one point you have a fence. I mean that's all. It's so cheap. But I think the problem is that if you're going to do it like that, just do it all practical. But at the same time, like, there are certain points in the movie where they have to use CGI for stuff. And the CGI is so incredibly bad. Like, and I feel like there's this no planning. Like, at one point there is, like, um, there's, like, a trap. So there's, like, a hole in the ground with spikes in it. And instead, you could just, like, build this little set... That has a hole, hole in the ground that you know, or something like uh, practical, but instead it's like they had the way they do it, like when they, I turned them when it's looking straight down in it and it's like fully digital and it's like it, it slightly works, but like when they're like avoiding stepping in it, almost stepping it, it looks like it's just like a little square is like it's poorly placed on the screen. And it's so bad. Another time is like when they actually look at the corn. It's like they're looking, they're hungry, and they think maybe they can eat the corn. And they find oh, the corn is rotten. And like they're looking at it, and then like these bugs crawl, crawl. All these bugs are in it. And there's like uh, uh. one one guy reacts to it. And then the other guy also the same thing. It doesn't react to the bugs. And like the bugs are like you know just pure CGI, and so bad. It's like just. Just give them some rotten corn. Just have them peel back some rotten corn. Like, why make it harder on yourselves when you know, like we know it's gonna look bad, you know? But like, the, all of the actors are not very good. But you know, they're fine. The one person, uh, Elena Juwako, uh, is like she is really annoying. But that's like her character is meant to be annoying. But like, if she's very annoying. And a lot of them are just not great. But, you know, it's it's okay. And there's some interesting stuff. But, like, at the same time, it, it kind of sucks when you have an, an escape room style, like, mystery part of the film. And they don't, like, try to engage the viewer at all. It's just, like, them character, the characters looking at it. Oh, there's something here. And then it's like, they oh, let's stick this in here. And it's like it's like you're watching someone else do an escape room. I think if you're gonna do a mystery style, like escape room style film, horror film, you know, try to include the viewer, like let them give a chance to solve the puzzles too. And they, they don't even tr attempt to do that. And then like there's stuff like the main like the bad guy in it like is looks pretty stupid. But, I mean, it's kind of an interesting thing to do with, like, what, how they do it. But, like, they they don't never they never really try to explain enough what the hell is going on. You know, and there's, like, the last scene, like, they have this really poor, like, they pull back, like, a satellite image of what's going on. 
And it's like, it's so quick and so poorly done. It's like, so wait, what are they trying to say? You know, it's so, it's just, it's, pre- it's pretty bad. I wouldn't recommend it, but it's not horrible. There are worse things you could watch. I'll probably give it like a 5 out of 10. But thanks for watching. If you want to see more of me, you can subscribe down below. Thanks.